Assalamualaikum and hello. Today, my group will, will be present about architecture art. Okay, what is architecture art? Architecture, the art and technique of designing and building can be distinguished from the skill associated with construction. Ex architecture practice is used for expressive and expressive purpose, fans, survey, utilitarian, and aesthetic purpose. Architecture can discuss forms, elements, uh, methods, and theory of architecture. Among the characteristics that distinguish a work of architecture from other blue structures are the stability of the work to be used by, by humans in general and its adaptability to the activity carried out. The stability and permanency of the work and communication of aspiration, experience and ideas through its form. Next, I will present about architecture background. Firstly, Aya Sophia. In May uh, 29, 4053, is the date of the collapse of the Roman Empire in the Christian world. The Osmania Turkey government become an Islamic government and take over Aya Sophia. Muhammad Al Fatih has declared Hagia Sophia as a must. The specialty of the of this building is the Muhammad Al Fatih owns chanted a vow as a sign of changing this Hagia set status from a church to a mass. Second is Sydney Opera House in Sydney, Australia. There is a famous performance art complex called the Sydney Opera House. It is regarded as one of the most renowned and recognizable Czech structure, structure of the 20th century. It is distinguished by its distinctive style like appearance. In addition, to be a place for theatrical performance, the Sydney Opera House is a work of art in um, architecture and a representation of Australia culture. For the millions of tourists who come to visit every year, this opera house has a claim with its design that is based on the shape of a seashell. seashell. Apart from being a tourist attraction, the Opera House is also a place for various musical theatre performance, opera, operetta, ballet and other theatre art. The Opera House is managed by the Opera House Trust and is also a permanent resident of Opera Australia the Sydney Theatre Company and the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. Orchestra. Um, the design is based on the work of John Uzun and architecture from Denmark in 1957 who, who led help in the construction of, the, of this opera house. Third, uh, Gangehim Museum Review. The Gangehim Museum Review, um, located in Review, in Spain, designed by Canadian uh, America attacked uh, Frank Gehendry. The museum is renowned for its distinctive and innovative architecture style. Complete in 1997, the building is characterized by its 
carver seal and organize from with titanium panels and glass dominating the exterior the building dynamic design challenge traditional architecture norms and stand up as a landmark in the city Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, My name is Muhammad Azri Hakimi bin Hanifah uh, From CAF 239 Want to present to you About what, why is architecture considered Considered as an art And issues surrounding it Okay First of all uh, Why is architect, architecture consider, considered as an art First point is aesthetic appeal Okay, uh, architecture focus uh, on the aesthetic qualities of buildings and spaces. Architects uh, consider factors such as proportion, scale, symmetry, rhythm, uh, texture, color, and light to create visually pleasing structures that can be appreciated for their beauty and harmony. Okay, let's move to the next one. Next one is uh, technical and artistic skill okay uh, architects uh, possess both technical knowledge and artistic skills uh, they must understand the principle of structural engineering uh, building materials and construction techniques to ensure the safety and functionality of their designs at the same time they use their artistic abilities to translate uh, ideas into tangible structures, balancing form and function. Okay, move to the next point is permanence and impact. Architecture is a lasting art form. Buildings and structures can endure for centuries, uh, becoming a part of cultural heritage and contributing to the identity of a place. Architects uh, have the opportunity to shape the physical environment and impact the life of individuals and communities by creating space for living, working, worshipping, learning and socializing. Okay, let's move to the next topic which is issues regarding architecture. Okay, the first point is Inclusive architecture uh, Architecture has a social function uh, Inclusive architecture means more than universal accessibility and elimination of architectural barriers This means uh, designing friendly environments that can adapt to the various needs and limitations a person may have Okay, to do this, uh, it is necessary to design different, different spaces for the adults, the elderly, mothers, babies and the disabled As well as spaces that cringe interaction Okay, the, uh, the next point is the lack of sustainable design and building practices uh, The lack of sustainable Design and building practice is a major concern in architecture. Uh, several ways can be implemented to address this issue uh, by embracing certain sustain sustainable design concept and utilize green building certificates such as LEEDs, which is leadership in energy and environmental design. Okay, uh, the next point is cultural and political disputes political and uh, cultural disagreements also arose throughout the project the project's authorities and architects Yon Utzon clashed over design modification and financial concerns uh, these differences finally caused Utzon to quit from the project and new architects were hired to finish the building Okay, I think that's all uh, for today Thank you Alright, so art and culture are clo closely intertwined in architecture but 
and it also challenging to distinguish them as separate entities. However, there are uh, some aspects that can help highlight the differences between art and culture in architecture. So first of all, uh, from function and purpose. Uh, architecture primarily serves a functional purpose, providing shelter and accommodating human activities and addressing specific needs. And also, the emphasis on functionality is an aspect of culture as it reflects the values, traditions, and lifestyles of a particular society. So in the art for architecture, on the other hand, it's often dri uh, driven by aesthetics and self-expression, focusing on evoking emotions, challenging conventions, or exploring abstract concepts. And so, through up to the second point, uh, which was symbolism and meaning. So, architecture can convey cultural symbolism and meaning uh, through its design elements, materials, and also spatial organization. So, uh, cultural references, historical narratives, and religious or social connotations embedded in architectural forms reflect the cultural context. So if we look throughout the art in architecture, it may incorporate symbolic elements or artworks that are primarily driven by aesthetic expression, personal interpretation, or artistic experimentation. And, all, and then we to go through the third point, which was collaboration and contents. Architecture is often a collaborative process involving architects, uh, engineers, clients, and also various stakeholders. It responds to specific contexts such as geographical location, climate, available resources, and local building traditions, which are influenced by culture. So if we look in the art aspect in architecture, it can involve, it can involve collaboration, tends to provide uh, individual artistic expressions or statements that may transcend or challenge the local cultural context. In conclusion, architecture art is a captivating and influential form of artistic expression that combines aesthetics, functionality and cultural significance. It, it encompasses the design, construction and visual representation of buildings and structures that shape our urban landscapes and contribute to the cities. And also, it also reflects the creativity, innovation, and craftsmanship of architects. And also, uh, inspire and enhance the human experience. Uh, it also serves as and a reflection of societal values, historical context, and also technological advancements of an individuals and communities. So through its ability to blend artistry and practicality, architecture art holds the power to transform our surroundings uh, and provoke meaningful dialogue about the intersection of design, culture, and human life. It is important to note that art and culture in architecture are not mutually exclusive but often intertwined. 
architecture can be seen as a reflection of the cultural values and aspiration of a society while incorporating artistic elements to elevate the built environment beyond mere functionality.